Well, for our mentors in basically in, in Go Negosia, we're glad that many are joining us. We need a lot of mentors because next year we will run maybe about 30, 40 different uh, locations at the same time. So there's nothing wrong in sharing. And sometimes when you share your success, you inspire people. And you are rewarded not only when you see somebody change his life. I've seen somebody like this guy in Iloilo. We all know him today because he's pretty popular among Inasal in Japsia. When we met him, awarded him, he only had 40 stores. We gave him the inspiration that he was a Goni Gosha Awardee. We guided him through. He became part of the group. He sold his business to Jollibee for almost five, six billion pesos. Today, he started Double Dragon. He's now worth over 130 billion pesos at the age of, what, 39, 40. And where did he come from? Iloilo. Where did he study? Iloilo. If you look at his family background, simple family. So if somebody out there can make it, it's a testament that many out there in the provinces do have a chance. So I always tell this story. I've seen many other entrepreneurs out there from really nothing, simple education. And some of them, they haven't even finished college. But why can they succeed? Because they have the right character. They have the right mindset. Now, we're telling you, stand up against your own fear that you can't be successful. You can be successful if you really want it. From the very past of when we started, we had summits, women's summit, youth summit, and all of that. We had caravans, all of that. But more than that, I look at basically the Gonigosho entrepreneurs. Everybody has a great story to tell, and every story is inspiring. So, you know, in a way, you look at all of them, and they are your, my inspiration. Different business models, different story of how that person made it up the, the ladder, you know, it's, 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 all of them that have really inspired. Now, we have a structure that I presented to the president, which is called Kapatid. Why Kapatid? Kapatid is the brand that we want to call for inclusive growth. Because when you say inclusive growth, nobody understands what is inclusive growth. No? So in other words, we've added angat lahat, and that to me is inclusive growth. In other words, Kapatid means siblings. So as a brother and sister, normally, we will always help the family. Filipinos are really uh, very uh, family-oriented. If you look at that, it's innate in the nature of Filipinos to help siblings, to help family. So, para umangat lahat. Now, you take it in a larger scale. How can we now, from the business sector and government, together partnering, really get now to help the poorest of the poor entrepreneurs. Who are the poorest of the poor entrepreneurs? These are the micro and small. And as an advice to the president on entrepreneurship and Mon Lopez being there with DTI, he and I have worked for the past 12 years in this advocacy, so we understand the program. So I help him there and focusing on my role there is to focus on MSME development. So we structured Kapatid. So how do we work this out? Koni Gosho, we only have about 20 employees now. So we're going to use the entire DTI organization because they are the enablers. This is really their job. Now that Mon and I are helping this government, I think it's going to go much, much higher because we have the pulse of the entrepreneurs, the pulse of everybody in government. So we will we'll be able to integrate it and act immediately. And try, in the end of the day, the more people that believe in the Philippines that this country is going to be great despite all of the noise, it will happen.